Okay, so lesson four. So today we're going over the correct finger placement. So last lesson we went over the major scale. Today we just wanna make sure that we're using cor the correct fingers to play that scale. So each finger has a, has a number one through five. So it starts off, uh, it goes inside out. So your thumb is one, your pointer finger's two, middle finger's three, ring finger's four, and your pinky is five. So when you're using your left hand, it goes like this. And actually for this course, we're really only gonna focus on the right hand because that's where most of the, of the movement is that we're, that we're gonna be talking about. So I'll show you in the left hand. So you start with finger five, if we're in the key of C, and it goes five, four, three, two, one. And you bring your third finger over, three, two, one. And if you wanna keep going, then you bring your fourth finger over, four, three, two, one third finger over three two one so it just it uses that progression four three two one three two one four three two one three two one until you get to the top if you're working your way down you start with finger one and you go one two three and then you bring your thumb underneath one two three four bring your thumb underneath one two three one two three four one, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then you use your pinky, which is number five, when you end it. Like that. So for your right hand, you're gonna start on your thumb. So it's one, two, three, bring your thumb underneath. One, two, three, four, bring your thumb under. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, and then you end on five. And if you're working your way down, you just go backwards. So five, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one, four, three, two, one, three, two, one. So that's how it works in the key of C. And so I want to go over each of the 12 keys with your right hand. And again, we're only going to focus on our right hand for this course. The left hand is mainly going to be focusing on the, the bass notes. And I want to do the octaves. Um, so you're going to use your pinky and your thumb as we're doing the major scale with our right hand. So we'll start in the key of A. And then B flat. C sharp. D. E flat. F. F sharp. G sharp. And then we're back to where we started at A. And so that was the major scale in all 12 keys. And notice I went up two octaves. And the reason for that is I just want to get your, your thumb 
familiar with going underneath the third finger and then again under the fourth finger when you continue that octave. Um, and same thing, bringing your third over and your fourth over when you continue all the way down. So it's important to go through two octaves up and down um, in, in every key because each key, your hand position could change a little bit. And then one thing too is if you notice when I was in the key of F and I was working my way up, I brought my thumb, uh, actually, I used my fourth finger to hit that B flat, and then I brought my thumb underneath to finish it off. Where every other key, I would do one, two, three, and then I'd bring my thumb under. The reason for that is just because if you look at it, I have to bring my thumb underneath and then back up to hit the B flat. So for me, it's just a little bit easier just instead of bringing it under and up, just use the fourth finger and then bring my thumb underneath. So if there's any spots when you're doing these major scales that it just, it doesn't quite work for you and you practice and you can't quite get it, that's perfectly fine. Just use a different finger or figure some way out that, um, that'll work better for you. You know, technically there is a correct way to do it, but if it doesn't work for you, that's perfectly fine. It's just kind of a guide. And the most important thing with this is just to have fun, you know, practice as much as you can. Um, and another thing that would really help too, is if you get, uh, go to the play store or the app store, download a metronome app. Um, and set it to whatever tempo is going to work for you and then start using, you know, go up and down that, that major scale and then slowly increase the speed. Um, and then just work on how fast you can get it. Um, and while going as smoothly as possible, that's the most important thing is just go smooth. Cause sometimes you can go quick here, but if you're in, you know, a different key and you have to go a little bit slower, you know, so try to go the same speed on every key. Um, and it'll just help you play smoother and better. And then when we go to the next lesson, we're going to be talking about the number system and that's going to be really, really helpful for you. So I'll see you then.